and uh, you know, we're really honoring, I think, science and education and, and playing and expressing ourselves here at the University of California Irvine in the Phoenix Grill, right? Uh, it's really cool. So this song is a song called uh, Where's Our Video? It's about, um, it's a story of long ago in the past, these scientists figure out how to do remote neuron reading and writing. Do you know what a neuron is? Yes. Yes, it's like a little tiny, it's the uh, cell that's in every nervous system. Every nervous system has neurons, right? So they figure out how to be able to send images and sounds and remotely activate neurons, right? They're like little switches, right? To turn them on and off remotely with tiny little devices that, so nobody can see what they're doing, right? And, but the thing is that they decide, hey, this is so powerful, we can see and hear thought, right? But this is so powerful that we should just keep it to ourselves and not tell everybody, right? So the story continues, and they build up on the planet this huge society where like one group sees windows in their eyes. They get like little directed brain windows, right? Just like the internet, but right to your brain, right? And another group that knows nothing about it, right? Because they're sworn to secrecy. They can't tell the other people that, hey, I can hear you and see your thoughts, you know? And uh, you can imagine how frustrating that would be. So you're like, I can't tell you that. I can see you hear your thoughts, right? And uh, I can see even people writing, sending you pictures, like sending you a picture of a pizza to make you go buy a pizza, right? <laughs> you know? And I can't say anything about it. So then so they're saying, hey, then some people, they excluded, figure it out. They're like, hey, where's our video? And that's the name of the song, Where's Our Video, right? But then also the sides eventually reverse, right? So those who had the windows in their eyes and could hear and see thought are the ones who don't get it, and those who were neglected, right? that didn't, then get to see, right? And so the group that had it are like, where's our video, man? Where'd it go? You know? So it's like, we got that too. So, uh, okay, so where is our video? One, two, three, four. Oh.
and uh, I've spent a lot of time researching the history of science, and I've found some startling truths. Like, one truth I found that's so amazing is that I really think that all of us and everything, all, all the matter, is made out of particles of light. And let me tell you why. Because uh, when you light a candle or a match, right, the light particles come out of the flame, right, from the candle and the match into your eye. And the match and the candle are made smaller, right? So it's like the light particles are always there inside the match, right, inside the candle coming out, so it makes sense to me, but I don't think that's the, the main view. Another thing, so this song is the last song I'm going to do, it's called Journey to Centauri. It's amazing to realize, right, that our descendants are going to go not only to the moon, right, and to the Mars, and to Venus, and Mercury, and all that, Jupiter, the moons of Jupiter, but also all the way to the other stars, like the Alpha Centauri, Sirius, and uh, Procyon, all the closest stars, if we succeed. Right? If we're successful, we a long way in the future, long after we're gone, right? In a couple of 300, 400 years, our descendants will go to the other stars, right? It's an amazing truth that you don't hear about a lot. And so the amazing thing too though is that we'll probably pull those stars, use gravity, right? To pull those stars closer together to make the trip smaller and faster, right? And uh, when we do that, we look a lot like a globular cluster. Do you know what a globular cluster is? It's really an amazing. It's in every galaxy, they're called globular clusters, and they're made out of stars, right? So to me, that, that means that maybe they're made by advanced living objects, right? Like little advanced life pulls those stars together to make, you know, a little uh, colony where they just produce more and more of themselves, like bacteria, right? They just crank out, just like we're doing, you know, converting matter into more of them. That's what those globular clusters are. But they don't tell you that. The big astronomers don't tell you that, right? So uh, that's what the song's about when we go to Centauri. The journey to Centauri, that other star, is not going to be cool. All right, journey to Centauri.
भी कार्य करते 